Welcome to today's science challenge. I'm George Wolf. Now today's science challenge is going to use a couple of cards, a brick, and some force. But before we get to the challenge, I gotta give you a little tour of our equipment here. These two cards roll, right? And this particular card is cool because you'll notice it has this little metal thing sticking out. But that metal thing is really a spring, so when I push down on it, it comes shooting out. Now that's really important because I want you to understand that if this thing pushes against something, it'll, it'll produce a force. It'll push on it. And if you also think about it, if I set these cards up like this, and I put them together and trigger that spring, each card is going to have the same force pushing on it. Hmm, let me show you. So we'll put that little nail right there. We'll put the cards together. I'll take a little hammer. Keep your eyes open. Now, did you notice that those cards went shooting apart at pretty much the same speed? Well, why is that? Well, that's not today's challenge. In fact, if you've ever heard the old saying, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, and really, that's not an old saying at all. It's Newton's third law. That's going to be a hint to what's going to be happening in this challenge. So I showed you the first part. The two cards went shooting apart. But now comes an interesting dilemma. I'm going to take these two cards again and put them together again. But this time, I'm going to put this brick on this card. I'm going to insert my nail so I can trigger this. And before I do this, just do a little predicting. What do you think is going to happen here? Okay, okay predicting time's over. Let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to put them together. I'm going to get my hammer. I'm going to hit the nail. Did you notice something? That one going just a little bit slower? Hmm. Well, before you try to figure this one out, you're going to want to look up a few terms. One of those terms is the term force. The other term is impulse. And the third one is momentum. Now, after you look them up, you can try to answer the question that's going to go along with this challenge. If this spring is pushing on both carts with the same force, which we know it is, why didn't they move at the same speed? Good luck with this one. When you answered that question, did you say that one went slower because it's heavier? Well, if you did, you got the right answer. Now, I know that seems a little obvious, kind of like, yeah, well, of course it went slower, it's heavier. But we have some very cool physics going on here. Now, just to make sure you predicted it correctly, let's just try one more thing. Let's make it real heavier, all right? So we'll not just use one brick, we'll go broke with two bricks. And let's see what happens to this cart right now. Real slow. You know, the explanation to this comes down to Newton's third law and some concepts called impulse and momentum. Let's go to the board and talk about it. Okay, we started off this whole discussion with Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But that brings to us a question. If the forces on the heavy cart and the light cart were the same, why did one go slower than the other? And you said because one was heavier. The masses were different. That's going to be really important as we make up this discussion. Now, I want to go over some physics principles here. Let's talk about force. You know from kindergarten that, that a force is a push or a pull. I want to tell you about something called impulse, which is force over an amount of time. So the harder we push on that thing, the more force, the more impulse it has. But the both carts had the same impulse. So if we take a look at this picture, we see that that spring is going to push the two apart, same impulse. Now. Why did one go slower? We come to something called momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity, which if you look at this diagram says it all. If they both have the same impulse, something with a small mass and a big velocity will have the same momentum as something with a big mass and a small velocity. Same impulse, same momentum. Very cool, so let's summarize. Newton's third law is, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Force is a push or a pull. Impulse is force over an amount of time. And finally, momentum is an object's mass times its velocity. A big, slow object can have as much momentum as a small, fast one. I'm George Wolf, and I want you to remember to discuss today's science challenge with your class and your teacher. And I'll challenge you again next time 
Remember, you're not going to get any answers unless you ask those great questions.